Good morning, 47. We have a lead on the shadow client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map, mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Ezra Berg, legendary Mossad operative who specializes in chemical interrogation techniques, is here at the compound to interrogate a prisoner. My notes indicate he set up a makeshift drug lab in a garage, and it looks like he's spending a lot of his time in the basement. Could be an opportunity there, 47. Everyone step huh? back. Fire in the hole. Come in. 
kidding me, bro? This is like a remedy for the soul. Let me tell you this. I serve you. Away, cowboy. We're not in Texas. How are you? Man, that thing made Ezra Berg's interrogation mask? That's what it does. It's a freebie printer. It prints things in white thread. Free dimension. I know. up in the interrogation room. He's one of the enemy's couriers. Hi. And he's off. Again. We'll see you today. Time for another cigarette, I guess.
Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47. I think you should hide that thing. What's this I hear about a training accident? Oh, that would be Burgess, the sharpshooter. He's point man in the Mexico operation. Huh. Got clipped by a ram or something? The team trained on a battery ram. I don't know, I guess old Burgess has his head up his ass. Nine out of ten accidents happen in the home. They do say that. Anyway, the guy was lucky. Sprained his ankle, that's all. He'll be back in a couple. So does uh, Rose still supervise the training? Sure, why? Well, if we ever want to get rid of Rose without... A battering ram has injured one of the strike team, point man by the name of Burgess. And according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. Sounds promising. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps you can relieve the hapless point man of his duties. Boss knowing. I guess uh, Burgess just taught us how. I never huh. liked them, never will. Oh, like you know why I like them. So you got your ex military, your mercenaries. I saw a couple of them. That is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. Strange to see her as part of this crowd. That is Maya Parvati, Sri Lankan assassin turned pirate, turned insurgent. ready for shipping to Mexico. That takes a while, you know. Yes, ma'am. Working as fast as possible. I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride, that's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. What's up? people let's get to it burgess is back we're finally ready to make this happen i expect you all to know this by heart but in case amnesia has set in here's the sequence 
Advance to the car with haste. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. Please proceed. Pretend I'm not here. Not a problem. That is Sean Rose, terrorist turned insurgent. Done 47. Two flies with one SWAT. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. Hold it right there. Like, why did they put Ramirez in the team? He can't shoot for shit. Seriously. I'm a much better aim than him. So, this test that Rose has planned. Seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? I mean, I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive to me. She's got it coming. But nobody can switch sides like Graves and just expect to be accepted. Tests are in order, man. Yeah, sure, I get that. But playing on her past with Interpol like that? I... I don't know, man. But I just hope the technician knows how to act. She used to be the enemy. I, I don't have any sympathy for that. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's got the badge, right? Yeah, he showed it to me over by the tent. Rehearsed his lines, too. He's taking this pretty seriously. Should be in the clear. Hey. Okay. It'll be interesting to see if she takes the hook. And not to mention our fault. Penelope Graves is still new to this outfit, and it looks like Rose is going to test her dedication to the cause. He's arranged for one of the communications technicians to act as an outside agent. The tech is supposed to show her an Interpol badge and escort her to the slurry pit, asking her to betray the militia. Might I suggest a last-minute recasting, 47? I should go. You think she'll order us to be removed? If she does, I got a 45 calendar. I do I've spent all the signals. So are you all right? Sure. What's up, Grace? Oh, you know, just, um, you know, wanted to make sure everything was running smoothly. So, the connection's secure? No weird signals or anything? No weird signals, no. Connectivity's a bit of a problem, but we're rerouting some things. It all looks fine. Should we be on alert? <laughs> no. No, I, uh, I just like making sure. <laughs> Big ears out there, you know? You can, um, never be too careful. Sure. We're on top of it. No need to worry. Glad to hear it. If you encounter anything unusual, let me know immediately. Yeah? Sure, Graves. We'll keep you in the loop.
Nice. So you're all set for the sting? Sure. Got a badge in my pocket, prep my lines, shouldn't be a problem. Almost game time. Um, you are uh, what the What? Okay. Penelope Graves. We need to talk. You're... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. Where's your problem? You know, been... In school, they always talk about it. Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... <laughs> Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. Intruders will be shot. And what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. So, look, it's nice of Rose to think of my safety and everything, but I need to do something on my own here, so just come back in a few, all right? Think, Graves. How did they get to you? Flight up, huh? Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. Yeah. I see what you mean, but so far, so good, right? Let's hope we don't get any more nosy neighbors. Yeah, I hear you.
Thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg. Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers controlling enough corporate and political leaders could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. So does. But that would mean Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative bastard. It all fits. He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Clan? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone. <laughs> 